Good morning and assalamu alaikum everyone. Oh, I hope you all are doing good. In our last lecture, we discussed about the two kinds of microorganisms and the diseases caused by them that were fungi and protozoans. In today's lecture, we shall be discussing in great detail about diseases, what exactly diseases are, and there are three types, that is the deficiency diseases, non-communicable diseases, and communicable or infectious diseases. Now let's move on towards the definition of disease. What exactly disease is? Well, any harmful deviation from the normal, structural, or functional state of an organism generally associated with certain signs and symptoms is known as disease. Well, the injuries that are caused are not included in the category of diseases. Well, the first type of the disease that we will be discussing here are the deficiency diseases. Well, we over the period of our lifetime face various kinds of uh, deficiencies. Uh, these deficiencies are usually of the related to the minerals and the vitamins in our body. Now, if we lack certain nutrients like if we lack vitamins and minerals or for a, over a long period of time then uh, we may uh, face some kind of uh, deficiency diseases right so the diseases that actually occur due to the lack of nutrients over a long period are called deficiency diseases or nutritional diseases they uh, the deficiencies can be of one or more nutrients in our body because of which uh, these diseases may occur. Now let's move on towards the causes of deficiency diseases. Well, the main cause for such diseases is the unhealthy lifestyle and unbalanced diet. We have discussed balanced diet in our previous lectures and if our diet is not in a balanced format then this actually leads to uh, various health issues and problems in uh, later on in our lives. So it is rightly said that those who think they have no time for healthy eating will sooner or later have to find time for illness. Let's move on towards the cure of these deficiency diseases. Well, to cure the deficiency diseases, you don't need any kind of medicine. All you need is a healthy lifestyle. And healthy lifestyle should consist of uh, various uh, vegetables, fruits, meats, in a balanced way. <coughs> now, over here, I have categorized all the vegetables and fruits color-wise like how they are good for your health in various ways like if you consume the white category they are good for the immune system for protection of stomach low cholesterol healthy heart and healthy gut moving on towards the yellow category that includes corns lemons uh, capsicum orange well the orange uh, vegetables and fruits are also included in this yellow category so they are good for low cholesterol healthy heart healthy joints eye protection and prevention of cancer now the red vegetables and fruits they are good for healthy heart healthy blood vessels skin protection cellular rejuvenation cellular rejuvenation means uh, the building up of new cells right and prevention of cancer the purple category well, it's good for healthy heart, again healthy blood vessels, it improves memory, uh, cellular rejuvenation and protecting of the urogenital system. The green ones, which includes the, pea, uh, the peas, the kiwi, the cucumbers, they are good for protection of stomach, healthy bones, eye protection, immune system and preventing cancer. Well, moving on towards the second type of disease that are non-communicable disease. Well, such diseases are not transmitted from one person to another directly. These diseases in severe terms may lead to death. Moving on towards the reasons behind non-communicable disease. Well, such diseases uh, are caused by physical inactivity, 
uh, in due to smoking or unhealthy diet and lifestyles. Well, the most common type of non-communicable diseases are strokes and heart diseases. They include cancers, diabetes, kidney diseases, and cataracts in eye. Well, the cure for the non-communicable disease actually include uh, the management of these diseases. Like usually you don't get rid of these diseases, they are uh, for lifetime. So for these diseases to be uh, rightly, firstly they should be rightly detected and diagnosed. After that they should be screened from one time to the other and af after that uh, the treatment comes. Like if uh, the disease is severe then medicines are there to control them. Let's move on towards the third type that is the communicable or infectious disease. Well, infectious diseases are disorders caused by various organisms such as bacteria, viruses, fungi and parasites. We have discussed some diseases in our previous lectures which are all infectious diseases. Okay, now some infectious diseases can be passed from person to person like COVID-19 which is very common these days. Some are transmitted by insects or other animals and you may get other diseases by consuming contaminated food or water or being exposed to organisms in the environment. Usually parasites and uh, what we say the protozoans they cause such diseases. Well, moving on towards the cure for infectious diseases, if the diseases are caused by the bacteria, then uh, the treatment is directly antibiotics because antibiotics actually kills the bacteria and ends the infection. Whereas if the diseases are, are viral, then only precautions can uh, protect you against the viral infections. Like precautions like washing hands regularly, keeping your home neat and clean and getting vaccinated. With this, we end up our chapter here. If you have any further questions and queries, you may ask in the question and answer session. Apart from that, keep your journal up to date, keep on completing all the worksheets and we'll meet up tomorrow, inshallah, with a new topic, with a new lecture. Take care. Allah Hafiz.